I don't know whether you've ever been to a reunion. They're really great things uh, when we've not seen people for a long, long time to get back in touch with them, to be able to embrace again, shake hands uh, and spend some time talking with friends that we've not seen for some time. Of course, the same can absolutely be said for this time of lockdown. We are looking forward to reunion, to being able to embrace and hug and be alongside our loved ones and friends. In today's passage, we see Joseph embracing and being alongside his brothers after being sold into a slavery. But because God is at the helm, Joseph ends up being the most important person in Egypt, the one who gets the country through famine and hard times. And early on in the passage, he says to his brothers, don't worry about what you have done because God has been at the helm. Last week, uh, we had our first service back in the church building, the service of Holy Communion on Wednesday. It was a complete joy and really lovely to be back in the building listening to God's word. word. Uh, and even though we weren't able to embrace and shake hands, we were alongside our fellow brothers and sisters in Christ, worshipping him in the best way we could, given the current conditions and not being able to sing. So as we go forward, as this pandemic continues, let's focus on the fact that God is at the helm. Let's focus on our prayer life, how we correspond with him. And let's look forward to that day where we will be able to embrace our brothers and sisters once again. Amen.